Well, the last thing we did out here was draw some strings and figure out where my holes have got to be. Well, I got some tubes here you put down in the ground. I think these eight inch ones would be big enough. You pour concrete in there and make your piers to put your deck on. I partially built my deck ahead of time so I know exactly where to put these. I brought out four paper plates, which are a tiny bit smaller than eight inches, but that'll be fine. I'm going to use these paper plates as my idea of where to find where the holes go. First I need to do is mark the center of my paper plates. I just need a rough guesstimate of where the middle of these plates are. Let's see, that's nine inches. The tube is right at nine inches. Let's make it four and a half. Get an idea of where the middle of the plate is. Okay, that X pretty well marks the center of the plate. Take this nail and poke a hole through them. That hole is basically the middle of my plate, which is going to be the middle of the hole. Let's take a look at what we got over here. Now, I want to cantilever my deck out a good foot past the beams. So, 11 feet is going to be right along in here. 12 feet, 10 feet will be right about here. So, that's where these strings represent. These two cross strings represent where the beams are going to be. Now, since I'm going to cantilever it, I wouldn't put the outside leg of the beam, beam support post right there. I'm going to move it in 12 inches. So I'll come in 12 inches, center a plate right there. And that would be the middle of the hole. You can see I got a hole from my old deck right here that never got filled up. We're fixing to throw some dirt in that. I need a couple of stakes to mark exactly where the plates go. But they're gonna look something like this. There's another hole I got to fill up. There's gonna be a hole right about there. My purpose in doing this first is I wanna do a good neat job and have it the beam are just about the right place. Now, if this dirt ain't too muddy, I'm gonna dig it. If it's too muddy, I won't. I'll get a nail or something to drive the plate so it don't get knocked out of whack. No, I got a better idea. Let's mark it and now I'll just make a circle with some paint. Then I can take up my strings and start digging. Alright, let's just get a close guesstimate. 12 inches is gonna be... Pretty close to right there. So right here by the string. Mark that hole. One down, three to go.
I'm getting into what could be the tedious part of this video. A lot of digging. I'll, you can watch me start digging and put it on time lapse maybe. Uh, got my paint mark. Let's use some of this dirt to fill up that hole that used to be. This is going to be hard work. Hitting a rock already. I have to get a bar to pry in the ground and soften it up. Well, I got one hole dug and started on another one. Down about two feet. I'll measure and make sure here in a minute. Time was when I, like when I put the fence up and down the property line. I go down through there with a post hole digger and dig a post every 10 feet and knock out a half a line in a day. This time took me an hour to dig one hole here. Of course, I was fighting wet, muddy, hard rock hard rocks and wet mud down through there. Got this one started. Yep, there's another rock. This ground's full of rocks. Anyway, I'm plugging along. Well, I worked about two and a half hours to get these four holes dug. Now this hole here was muddy all the way down. So that means it's staying wet all the time. It rained for a couple of days and it's downhill across there. So I got water standing in this corner for a good couple hours before it soaks in or drains off. I'm worried about when I put that pier in that it might sink down in the mud some. I get it dried out and the dirt dried from get the deck covered up. It won't stay soggy wet like it's been doing here with the deck gone. I'll just put some gravel down in the hole. Not a whole lot of V-log today, but I'm just documenting a little bit of what I've been doing. I'm gonna quit. Carry my little self in the house. Y'all take care. P. Wall Parsan. We'll catch you later.